Right then, it's the one and only Happy Hungry Ivy. That's me, yes. I'm not in my onesie, I'm in my gym jams. But here I am to present to you this week's cocktail, the one and only Diffid's Cocktail Bible, Poet's Dream. For this, it's simple. There's three core ingredients. We need a gin, a white vermouth, and the Benedictine. We are gonna use a shot of the Zymagorium gin, which is the original and first gin distillery in Manchester. There are 20 botanicals in it. So such as ultra complex gin, which is based off Manchester's diversity of culture, spirit, and undying passion for the new. I'm gonna put the details in the descriptions below. And then we're gonna use the Noily Pratt, which is one of the best white vermouths you can get. This is based from France. Benedictine, which is based about 27 different herbs and spices. Then we need three quarters of a shot of chilled water, and then we're gonna need some crushed ice. So we're just gonna try this gin. Oh God, yeah. Wow, that was absolutely amazing. It was really creamy as well. So chilled water with the ice. Then one shot of the gin. One shot of the vermouth. Then one shot of the Benedictine liqueur. So just gonna let that sit for a moment. Nice to use a bartender's spoon here. Give that a nice stir. While that's waiting, just want to give you a little bit of a history on the Poet's Dream. It was adapted by an original recipe in 1949, which is the edition of the Squire's Handbook for Hosts. It's served in a martini glass, you can give it a, a twist of a lemon. This is subtle, honeyed and herbal. I hope you're all enjoying your Friday night and looking forward to your weekend. Really interested in what you're covering and put your comments down below. What's your favourite gin? What's your favourite vermouth? And have you heard of Benedictine liqueur? So I'm just going to give this a little bit of a garnish with a twist of lemon. The essence of, of the lemon. And I'm going to strain this into the glass. Then here we have it. Poet's Dream. That's absolutely lovely. It's almost got an edge of honey to it. But the botanicals and herbs and spices are really nice. It's got a real dry complexity to it with the dry vermouth, but the gin is superb. Anyway, really look forward to hearing your comments below. Lots of love and passion going into this. Please do subscribe. Also, check out my playlist for other gin-inspired cocktails. Cheers.